Okay, in this May lecture, we're going to learn about the different types of microscopes that you guys are going to use next week in the lab. Okay, the first is going to be the dissecting scope, and the second is going to be a compound microscope. Okay, so let's go look and take a look at the dissecting scope first. Put that, bring that to the beginning. So here's our dissecting scope. Okay, what you normally would do is you would put your specimen under here. We're going to unwrap the cord. It's normally wrapped around the base, plug that in. And this is for seeing um, objects that are larger than that you could normally see with the naked eye. Okay, so you can look at your entire hand, mostly objects that you would want to dissect. Um, there are going to be two different types of lights. Take a look this one here. You're looking at the microscope head-on. There are two different types of illumination. This one here and this one here. So as you can tell from the two arrows, the illumination on the left illuminates from the top down. The illumination on the right illuminates from the bottom up. If you have an organism that is uh, semi-transparent, uh, you'll be able to illuminate from the bottom up and it will make things uh, a lot easier to see. If you have something that's pretty solid, such as um, a tree trunk, um, like a small twig, or something pretty solid, you're going to want to illuminate from the top down. All right, now we're going to talk about the compound microscope. So let me get rid of this here, shrink this guy down. All right, you guys are going to be using the compound microscope to look at microscopic organisms. So here we have our compound microscope. Okay. What you see here, we have our course adjustment, and then we have our fine adjustment. Our course adjustment you're going to use on the lowest objective and then on the medium objective. Once you get to the higher objective you will not use your course adjustment. So here's our lowest, this is um, 4, and we have our 10, and then we have our 40. We also have a white one which is 100. We're not going to be using that today um, or in lecture this week, a lab this week. Um, that's because that's for oil immersion and we're not going to be using oil. Alright, so here we have our microscope. You guys take a look here. So here it is looking straight on. Alright, you've got your eyepieces. Okay, these adjust to the width of your eye. I highly suggest that you make sure that they um, are adjusted correctly. You can also turn them. Okay, depending on whether or not you need glasses. Okay, so they're going to focus. Okay. When you look through the eyepiece, you want to make sure that you are seeing one object. Don't just look through with one eye, you want to make sure you look through with both eyes. Here are the oculars. Let's rotate. Okay, so you can rotate it. Okay, you're going to be putting your slide on your stage. This clip retracts so that you can slide your slide right on in, and here is your light source. Let me get rid of those. All right, now looking underneath the microscope, we have our condenser, okay, our iris diaphragm. Basically, this is going to let light in, uh, different amounts of light, so it's almost like the shutter of a camera, so it's going to allow different lights in. Here we again we have our light source. This here is very important. This is going to move your stage back and forth and left and right. Okay, get rid of that. Another piece that's quite interesting that I forgot to point out before, this right here, this moves your light source up and down so that you don't want to have it hitting um, the bottom of your slide. Also, if you want to dim the amount of light that's 
hitting your slides, you can also move it down. Okay. All right, and then on this side, if you guys take a look, here we have our two adjustments. We have our course adjustment and our fine adjustment. Our course adjustment is only going to be used under the lowest magnification and then sometimes on the middle magnification. Once you get into higher magnification, you're only going to use your fine adjustment. And that's because you don't want your um, objective to hit your actual slide. Here, this is how we adjust the light. So you're going to move sliding it back and forth. That lets the different amounts of light in. And again, this is how you move your stage. Do not move your stage manually. Uh, you want to make sure that you're using these different knobs um, to turn the stage left and right or back and forth. Okay, gotta get rid of that. And then let's play the rest of this. So it's pretty fairly simple to use. I'm just going to swing around to the other side. I'm going to show you guys the back of the microscope. You guys take a look at the very back. Here we have something that's very important. This is our on and off switch. Okay, so most people think it's in the front of the microscope, and here it is in the back. All right, let's shrink this down. So when you calculate magnification, what you're going to do is you're going to take your eyepieces, if you notice they are 10, and we're going to take our objectives. And whatever objective you are, you're going to multiply 10 by the objective. Let's pretend it's on 10. Okay, and that's going to give you a magnification of 100. All right. Shrink this guy down, move it over here. All right, so this is how we are going to put a slide onto the actual microscope. If you notice your working distance, and that's the distance basically from, erase that, hold on, from here to here, so from your slide to your objective. Okay, it is going to get much smaller than the working distance from your dissecting scope. So you're going to put the slide on. That little clip is going to retract. There you go. Slide it. Make sure it's nice and snug. And you're going to use your course adjustment and you're going to bring it all the way up. All right. And as you're doing this, you're looking through the microscope. You want to see if whatever you're looking for comes into focus. Now something I didn't do here that I want to point out. If what you're trying to see is not there, you're going to want to move your slide to that center. So you're going to want to move oh, wrong one. You're going to move, want to move your slide a little bit over and either back and forth, up and down just to make sure that it is in the center. Um, my organism happened to be right there, so I didn't have to make any adjustments. All right. Okay, so I'm using the fine adjustment to make sure that it's in focus. You guys take a look, I'm on 10, so this will give me a magnification of 100. All right. And then if you take a look, a lot of people get really scared right about now. They're going to say, oh no, I'm going to hit, and then they back off. You don't want to, as long as you are in focus, that's okay. Okay, you're never going to hit as long as that you are in focus. Let's just make sure that that is muted. Okay, and you're just going to move it a very tiny amount with your fine adjustment just to make sure that you're nice and focused. Now if we take a look, I'm letting in some more light, as you see there. Did you guys see that? So I let in some light, and then I decrease the amount of light, so that depending on... Um, whether or not my organism is opaque or not, so I'm playing with the iris, the condenser. And I'm playing with the light at the bottom just to give it that ma maximum amount of light. And that is how you focus in on a slide.